friends, welcome or welcome back. I'm George Pierce and I want to thank you for watching. And this video is about how to use or how you can use Google Images and Bing Images and how to use them legally. You're going to learn the right way when it comes to using Google Images and Bing Images, using them legally. Personally, I use Pixabay, that's pixabay.com, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y. Com and Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S dot com, and they're excellent. Usually you can find just about everything and anything that you want on, on those sites. And that includes images as well as videos. But every once in a while, you and I are, are not going to be able to find that image that we want. And that's when I, I would suggest that you consider turning to Google or Bing, whether it's in a video as B-roll or whether it's on a web page. A lot of times images can really help you to tell your story. In addition, they might add that extra glue to help you to keep those visitors and to keep those viewers on your video, to keep your viewers watching or keep your visitors on your web page. So that's where Bing and Google can help us. But there's a big problem when most people use Google and Bing. I think a lot of newbies don't realize that just because those images are showing up on Bing and Google that uh, that we're actually allowed to use them. A lot of them we're not allowed to use. And you certainly you don't want to do that on your website and you definitely don't want to do that on your video. So what you're about to discover are a couple of simple tricks, really quick, really easy, really simple, which will help you to find the images that you actually want. And these will be images that you actually have permission to use. If you like this video so far, give it a big thumbs up. If you're finding value in this video, give it a thumbs up if you would. I'd appreciate that. It helps the channel. And while you're at it, if you haven't subscribed, for goodness sake, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you're not going to miss out when these videos get published. Let's begin with Google. And that's Google search. And of course, that's google.com. So I'm, I'm typing in Bruges. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it properly, but it's Bruges, Burke, Belgium. And it's because I'm using some of the, these images in my background. Well, let me show you how you can find that perfect image to help improve view duration, visit duration, and of course, conversion, sales, revenue, income, and so on. And what you're going to see, of course, is going to work for, for any image. But type in what you're looking for. In my case, again, Bruges, Belgium, and click images and what we see of course are certainly a lot of beautiful images but many of these images are not for reuse in order to find those images that are for reuse the images that we're allowed to use click on tools and then in the drop down click on usage rights and then click on labeled for reuse and, and most of those images we should be able to, to review. If there's an adequate number of images, I'm going to stick with Wiki. If it's Wiki, Wikipedia or Wikimedia, I'm going to use those images. And I know with Wikipedia and Wikimedia, I'm safe. So click on the Wikimedia or Wikipedia image that you want to use. Or if you want to use several of them, open them in a new tab. Click the ones that you want to use, open them in a new tab so that you'll be able to just go to those tabs. And then below the image, click on Open in Media Viewer. And then click on the download arrow on the right. And you will need to click, you will, usually you can choose the size of your download. Typically you're going to find, uh, it's going to say you need to attribute the author and click on that and copy and paste the attribution and add that to your notes, to your notes or your notepad or your HTML editor or whatever, so that you make sure that you give attribution. And then what I do to keep it straight, you might say if I'm using more than one image, I'm going to copy the image description along with the attributions. Now for Bing, it's the, the process is, is quite similar, but a little bit different. So let me show you what we need to do on Bing. So that's Bing.com. And again, click on what you're searching for, click on Images. Now instead of clicking on Tools, you want to click on Filter, and that'll be on the far right. And then on the drop down, you can click on All Creative Images, Public Domain, or Free to Share and Use Commercially. I suggest that you click on Free to Share and Use Commercially. And then as before, 
target those images that are Wikipedia and Wikimedia uh, because those are the safest. Open and view media, choose your size, and don't forget to give attribution to the author. This is what your images should look like. This is what your attributes should look like when you're done. And that's how simple it is. That's an easy way, in my opinion, to find those images that you just can't seem to find. There's so many images out there on the internet that are free to use. There's no reason for us to, to use images that we don't have permission to use. There's no need to do that, no reason for us to get in hot water, no reason for us to jeopardize our websites, our blogs, our YouTube videos, and so on. So if you like this video, I hope you've given it a big thumbs up. If you haven't, please do that right now. And don't forget to subscribe. I do want to thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Allow me to wish you much success.